two, one, go! Soaring Eagles moving out. They'll drop down their robot. Graceful landing by 662, 941. Out in the middle of the field, trying to latch on to the center goal. Red team controlling two goals. Soaring Eagles trying to grasp on to the third one. Power cord bringing it over to the human player station. They load it up with the balls. The balls are worth one point each. Team 876 still trying to get out of the starting gate. Having some powertrain problems. C3PO. They'll be out though. They can pick balls up on the fly. One goal in the red zone, one goal in the blue zone. Now we have two in the blue. Power cord trying to make it across the field. Of course, they want to win this match. Both teams are going for qualifying points. That's three times the losing score. Halfway through this first match of, of the qualifying rounds on Saturday here in St. Louis. Eagle Robotics trying to push and shove that second goal out of the red scoring zone. Team 941 doing a great job going back into their end zone. That's 10 points if the robots are in the end zone. 876, the blue team picking up one ball. Perhaps they can get it into the goal. Eagle Robotics trying to block the other robot from moving out. One robot in each end zone. As we count down from 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. First match has ended. Okay, in case this is your first time actually seeing one of these matches, let me tell you a little bit about how these teams are trying to score. There are three different ways that a team can score points in the 2002 competition. The first way is by having their robots end up in the zone near where they started. So the same zone that the robots started in, if they, their robots end up back in that zone, they get 10 points. But also, if the other alliance's robots end up here, they're worth 10 points. So there are four robots on the field, all four of them in the zone for the red team where I'm standing would be 40 points for the red team. Another way that the red team would be able to score is by getting a goal and having that goal end up in the zone just off the center on the opposite side of the field. So this zone right here, this goal until it moves out of this zone is worth 10 points for the red alliance. Then any of the balls that end up inside of a goal and the goal is either in this zone or in this zone are worth one point for the Red Alliance. So the Red Alliance can score by having robots here, by having goals here, or by having balls and goals here. And what we'll do is calculate the score and announce it to you at the end of each match. And it looks like, Ron, we're ready for the score. We're for all the first set with match. that score. It goes to the Red Alliance, 41 to 20. Red Alliance gets 60 points for qualifying. 